Hey all, Drew Scott here. Jonathan was telling me he gave you a tour of his house and we always love sharing a little bit of our lives with you. So I thought I would give you a little sneak peek and behind the scenes of our house. And instead of like every other house tour where they start inside the house, I wanna start with the outdoor spaces because to me, that's some of the most fun. It's creating those extra bonus areas that you can enjoy with your family. Right here, this is the first part. This actually, this whole patio here, this back patio with the dining table, barbecue, this didn't exist before. This was just the grass overgrown area of the backyard. They had nothing here. It was literally just dead grass and some trees. We wanted a space for dining. We wanted a space for the barbecue. Parker has his little table next to us too. That's his little dining space. And then we recreated the backyard of our dreams with this space. We thought there was no way we could fit a pool in this backyard, it looks so tiny. But at the end of the day, when we were able to figure out the footprint back here, we were able to fit a lot. We also have the original garage, which I consider the garage an outdoor space, by the way. It's a bonus here in California. You don't need to park cars in there, so I'll show you what I did. Let's go! Welcome to my gym. This is what a garage is meant for if you don't have a separate gym, uh, in my opinion. In here, I have put everything you could possibly want in a home gym. Adjustable dumbbells up to 80 pounds. I have a whole squat rack here. I have pull down. I have these super tech uh, cable pulls and then every other weight you could possibly think of. So my whole thing is I don't want to have to go to a gym and have a membership anymore if I could have everything right here and I can just step outside and get a solid workout. No big deal, back to work. So this is creating an extra space out of no space because this would just be open, but we put a couple of egg chairs here and then in behind, these are lemon trees and they don't grow much taller than this. We keep them here, which I love. So many people get citrus trees that are so tall, you can't ever get to the top. Hundreds of fruit just go to waste or rodents start eating them and it makes a mess of your yard. This is perfect. I don't think we've bought a lemon in years. This is my favorite spot in our entire house. This is our attic balcony. We originally wanted to transform it because there wasn't really a balcony. The original owner, they had a small, it was like four foot by six or eight feet. You had to crawl through a window to get to it, but I don't want to crawl through my window to get to it. So we added this nice big space. The boards themselves, TimberTech, we've used them on projects all over US and Canada, and I love them. And this deck, it looks like natural wood, which is really nice. This is a PVC material that is top of the line and it's top rated fire resistant. That's important to me. For me, I wanna make sure products are recyclable. I wanna be able to have products that are using recycled materials. So here it's up to 60% recycled materials for this PVC decking. A tip for in your house or even for decking material, if you go really dark, if you do black, for example, you're gonna be seeing the dirt a lot easier. So I went with an English walnut. It's a sophisticated color, it's a natural tone, but it's not too light. I don't wanna to go too, too light out here. It looks like real wood, but it's never going to stain or fade the way that you would have with natural wood. And they have all different colors. We were able to, I mean, the number of choices I had was amazing. Anyone out there looking to do a deck, I really suggest that you look at the benefits of a material like this that TimberTech has instead of just a wood deck, because who wants to restain their deck every couple of years? You want to enjoy your deck, you want a low maintenance deck like this? I love that I could spill red wine on this, it's not gonna stain. Let's go back in time real quick and I'll show you how TimberTech pulled off this deck renovation. It's the best deck renovation ever. The other thing that I really like with the awning lets us bring in a little light, a whole bunch of light, or completely close it off. We can even be out here when it's raining. This is made from 50% recycled aluminum. I love it when companies are thinking about materials and they're thinking about recycling and they're thinking about what they can do that's better for people on the planet. So kudos to Structure, kudos to TimberTech. For me, the most important thing is over on this side too. We wanted to have a comfortable space where I can hit the hot tub. I can enjoy a little cold plunge. I'm not a fan of cold. This is the most painful thing in the world. This is colder than 52 degrees. Wait, how cold is this? 50. God, this feels colder than 50. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Head under. The sauna is so much better. But that's why I kind of put the cold between the two warm. That's my, that's my game, I like that. The sauna is also a great element for me. 
Oh, back here, I want to point this out. So I love this feature too. This is a privacy screen that you would typically put in a space like this, but it's also a safety element. If we have a hot tub too close to the rail, you don't want somebody falling over the rail. So we put this privacy screen up here, same deck material that we have on the floor, just a thinner board. And I think it looks great. I just, I want to use every square inch of my house. I don't want to have anywhere that's something that we set up and we never use it. And that's what this attic balcony was. It was never used. Now I kind of feel we're going to use this every single day, whether it's entertaining family and friends, or just Linda and me hanging out and enjoying the sauna or the cold plunge, so. Anyone who knows me knows I'm a tech nerd, so I legit can control every component within my house from my phone or using my voice, which is pretty amazing. I can turn on the hot tub or the cold plunge, I can set the temperature that I want with the, the sauna, I can turn on the heaters, adjust the louvers, I can even control my solar panels. Everything I want can be controlled from this or from this, so. Oh, and this is a whole other thing. Bugs are crazy. If there is one mosquito in all of the land, it will find Linda. But now I just have to do this. A part of our new system, we have shades that come down. So one, it cuts down on the sun. And then two, it keeps all bugs out. For me, it's about function. It's about automation and tech. And it's about style. And you can see I now have my favorite space in the entire house has all of those things right here. So the next question is, who am I inviting over for dinner in a hot tub? Well, that's it. I think I've shown you all our outdoor spaces from the fire pit in the pool to the gym, to the outdoor dining downstairs with barbecue. We have our lounging and dining upstairs, as well as my little healthy spot over here with the hot tub, cold plunge, and sauna. Are there other spaces you wanna see inside the house? Because I'm willing to share, let me know. And make sure to subscribe, we'll see you in the next video.